You really want to do this? Yes. You want to add yet another layer of insanity to this whole thing? No, I wouldn't quite say well, that. No, no, no. No. Okay. You want to do this? Let's do it. Okay. First of all, I want my Nora Jones CD. Okay. My pride, copy of Pride and Prejudice. My green top. My magic eight ball. Uh, you gave me the magic eight ball. I lent you the magic eight ball. You just never gave it back. You never asked for it. I've had it for three years. Better late than never. Fine. I'm just so clear. I don't want you saying anything about me to other people. Fine. I don't want you saying anything about me either. Fine. You know what? I don't want you telling the Jody Feinberg story anymore. What? Why? <laughs> because it's my story. But I always tell that story. It's a good story. It's a great story. And you butcher it every single time. I do not. Lindsay, you could find a lottery ticket in the street. Win a million dollars. Get captured by the Colombian drug lords and held for ransom. Go on Oprah and tell the whole world about it. And you'd still make it the most boring, yawn-inducing story ever. You have a knack for it. That is so mean. It's the truth. I only let you tell the Joey Feinberg story because you're my friend. But if we're not friends anymore, you can't tell the story. But then you can't tell the Lake Mead story. <laughs> what sense does that make? If I can't tell the Joey Feinberg story, you can't tell the Lake Mead story. Excuse me, the Joey Feinberg story happened between me and Joey Feinberg. It's my story. And the Lake Mead story happened to both you and me, so it's 50% of mine by rights, and I'm saying I don't want you telling it. <laughs> yeah, and 50% of it is mine too. Oh, you can tell your 50% of it. This is ridiculous. I'm serious. You can only talk about the stuff that happened to you. Leave me out of it. Fine. Fine.